Hello and welcome to Interactive Canon Tech and today I'm just going to be going a little more advanced on design tables so if you've not seen my original video on design tables and the basics um, please click the link and have a look at that um, but where I'm going to start today is I've had a few comments on my original video that I've just shown on the link basically saying can I have formulas and equations in your design table? And because it's Excel based, of course you can. So I thought I'd show you a few examples of the kind of formulas I put in design tables. So if I just, uh, so this is just a, um, a piping flange uh, with multiple configurations, all different class sizes, pipe diameters and so on. So if I go to edit design table in new window, so it opens it up in Excel, which it has done on my other uh, screen so let's drag that across and now if you look at for example this class 150 um uh, 15 mil um flange i've actually we've actually put in to create the name of this flange um the diameter the class size and the schedule and the pipe schedule so that is so that makes up the actual configuration number so that's really handy so if you create custom sizes it will automatically create the name of the configuration for you so let's press enter on that there's also you can do a lot simpler ones so if you go to j so because this is related to these two dims the wall thickness and the pipe um, diameter i've put in a little equation there so f3 equals m3 uh, minus m3 times 2 and that will give you your bore diameter for the flange um, another one you can do is when you're naming when I, when you're naming the description so to describe the part similar to the um, configuration name you just concatenate so uh, flange raised face weld neck dash dn and then it takes the it takes the diameter from the diameter cell and then it takes the um, class and schedule and then that creates a description of the part of the part in the configuration um, another one is just as simple as that you can go equals a3 so th there's a lot of flexibility in what you can do with design tables if you know your basic excel i'm not um, amazing on Excel but if you know the basics of the formulas you can drive a sheet really well and every time so now I can just literally if I go to the bottom of the sheet create a custom configuration by just copying let's copy the copy the red one so let me the sheet was a little bigger than I thought it was gonna be so if I just copy the, the red configuration and change um, the, the actual diameter to 400, it changes the diameter in the configuration name, in the description, and here on the class. So it's an easy way to create multiple configurations without having to manually type everything in. So it's something I'd really recommend. Um, I hope this has helped. I know I've had a few comments on my last design table video. I don't think you can have separate sheets. It's always got to be on one sheet, but it really does come in handy if you want multiple configurations, especially with dimensions that are related to each other. Um, you can just drag it down, create another configuration of the same part. And that's what I've done for all these different classes of flanges um, and sizes. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please subscribe to my channel um, and thanks for watching.